Hello. In this video, we're going to learn to use Yuma Tools Add on Sync to keep our mods updated with our mod repository for Arma 3 that we have on our website at the Warhawks. One of the first things you want to do is, if you haven't already done so, is go to your Documents folder and find Arma 3. Now you may have an Arma 3 other profiles depending on if you have another profile created for you for yourself there. My computer name is different than my name in the Warhawks here, Warhawk Boomer, so I needed to create another profile. But here, this is the one we're looking for right here, Arma 3. And you'll know that this is the right one because you'll have this Arma th Arma 3 configuration file in it. So the first thing you want to do here in this folder is right click create new folder and call it mods just like that. And you can close that up. Now we need to download the add-on sync which I have in our web uh, in, our, in our forms in the ARMA specific information which is where you're watching this video from most likely right here we have it available right here we'll download that save it see I've already downloaded it but I'll just resave it replace it now you may get this pop-up about it's not commonly downloaded and could be dangerous well it's not trust me and you're gonna watch me do it keep and we'll run it and you'll see inside the zip folder is a MSI or a self installation and I use uh, WinRAR just drag it out here to the desktop and you can close that up run the installer will guide you through the process next now one thing I, I don't like to install programs to the program files I install it just straight to their own directory as such. Click Next. Installer is ready. Click Next. And we wait. Shouldn't take but a couple seconds here. Add-on sync has been successfully installed. We can close that. Now we can open it up. If we want to, we can blow that away. Uh, delete using that anymore hopefully but you'll still have it in your zip folder if you need to use zip file if you need to use it again or it will always be available on the website anyway I digress we go to create a new server now we get this copy of this uh, auto config code that I've put in here copy that, right click and copy put that in the auto config URL paste and import server you'll know that it's worked correctly because you'll get a message of a day from a General George Patton that I put in there talking about teamwork, imagine that Boomer talking about teamwork right along with George Patton anyway we can save that. Now we go to download add-ons. And now we can check for add-ons. Once it's finished, you'll get a list of pink folders if you if you just created the mods folder. Oh, look, I almost forgot. This is a very important step here. The download to 
we need to change that because I have Operation Arrowhead installed and it, it will try to install them to there but we don't want to put them there we need to browse to the mods folder we just created earlier which is in libraries documents my documents Arma 3 and mods just drill down till you get there and again it, it automatically checks for add-ons when I change that but you can check just to make sure and you see they're all pink download add-ons as they download or if you've already had them in there they would be a darker green if they're an updated file or a file that needs update to be updated it'll be a little bit lighter shade of green we won't have any of that available here uh, you can see the initial download starts out at if you have to download everything it's 800 megabytes that's why we're using this to keep it updated so that you don't have to download 800 megabytes every time I make a update to one of the files in there being that Arma 3 is just recently released or some of these mods have had updates and we'll continue to have updates and rather than have to download the whole thing now we can just update individual files which is much easier to update a 723 kilobyte file than it is 799 megabytes because this one file changed okay now that it's finished downloading you get a message here it says it's finished total files should match okay you can also look down the list by sliding the slider all the way up and down making sure that they're all this uh, bright green if you have any orange or burgundy color uh, rusty dirty orange I guess you would delete extra files that will clear out any files that aren't used make sure you don't have any extra ones in there that might cause conflicts with running the game uh, if you want to verify it again check for add-ons boom they're all done now we can close the add-on sync because they are all installed into our mods folder as we did earlier and I'll close the browser here because we don't need that anymore either now we can go to Steam and launch Arma okay here we are at the Arma main menu now we can go down here to configure expansions and here we have the mods that we just downloaded one of the most important things that you can do or need to do here is make sure that you load the community based add-ons or the CBA first so you highlight it click enable the reason we put it in there first is because all the other add-ons or most all other add-ons use this as a building block to for function uh, of other mods and such other files our Warhawk folder and TMR don't matter which how we enable them what order we enable them one thing we'll see here on TMR though once we enable it well, we have three check marks there we click OK and it'll ask us to restart which we'll do and it's loading back up again now you 
see we have CBA and TMR, TMR here. You get the version number, uh, MCC Sandbox. That's one of the Mission Commander tools that we have. It tells you what version is there. CBA version. Your game version is over here. Come back to configure once more. Click on expansions. And now we have the TMR enabled. See it has the check mark in it there. And now we've got all these components or all these subcomponents of TMR that we need to enable. I don't know if it matters or not, but just because it is the core module, I like to enable that one first. For the same reason that we put CBA first up here, now inside this we'll put the TMR first. Then the rest of them we come down, enable, enable. These are all just different functions and changes of characteristics of the uh, in-game weapons. This is an important one here, the auto rest module. That's so you can lean up against uh, something and be a little more stable. Once they're all enabled, we click OK once more. start the second time. Okay, now we're back to the main menu again. We can verify that we do have it, all of our expansions enabled CBA first followed by all the others and at this point if you click OK it'll ask you to restart again you don't have to just cancel that cancel and at this point you can begin to play multiplayer look there's our server in order to find it that way in the list filter for host warhawks war space hawks click ok and blammo there it is enjoy <laughs>